Hey students, so this is Sketchpad lesson number two, how to use the paint bucket tool that we did in class today. So we have our sweater uploaded into Sketchpad. If you have not done this yet, please check out the previous lesson video that will show you how to get to where I am right now. We are gonna color in our sweater and there are a couple ways to do it, but I'm just gonna show you one way today and then we'll build on top of that. So I'm gonna come over here to what I call the paint bucket tool. It looks like a little bucket of paint spilling out. We're going to go ahead and click on that. This tool has two options. So we have a menu right here and you can click on that and see that you can get what's called a vector fill or a pixel fill. First, I want to show you how the vector fill works. So I'm going to change my fill color by selecting this, making sure I'm set to a solid color. We'll get to these later on in our lessons. So we want a solid color, choose a color you like, and then you can click anywhere to fill in. So a vector fill is going to fill a solid area. Because the sweater image was inside this square, we can see that it's filling it in and you can see the dashed lines on the edge to show us the edge of that image. Obviously, we do not want to cover our sweater with blue. So I'm going to undo it by hitting my undo button right there. Now I'm going to switch it to pixel fill. I'm going to change my fill color again to a solid color. Any color you like is fine. Sometimes Sketchpad can be a little finicky. So I like to make sure that the last thing that I do is set it back to pixel fill. So I'll switch back to vector fill and then go to pixel fill. The reason I do that after I change the color is because I find that sometimes Sketchpad forgets what tool you're using and it will act like it's still on vector fill. So we want to make sure it remembers we're using pixel fill. Sketchpad is a free program, which means it does not always work perfectly. So I found a few little ways to work around it. So I also want to make sure that I have paint into layer turned on, meaning it's highlighted on. And I'm going to click inside my sweater and that will fill in the sweater. Now I'm going to color in these parts here, the cuff, the bottom cuff and the neckline. And I want to color them in a lighter version of this color. And the way that I'm going to do that is by changing the opacity. So opacity is how see-through or not see-through a color is. So we want to think about the opacity like it's a curtain. 100% opacity is a curtain across a window and we cannot see any light through. Maybe it's your blackout curtain. 0% opacity would be no curtain at all, meaning we can see all the light. So if we set this to a 0% opacity, we would have no color at all. So we're going to set it to a 50% opacity. And I just do that by clicking into it, just like I'm going to type on anything, backspace that um, one zero and do a five. So I have 50%. Now that I have 50%, I still have my color set. I'm going to click into these sections to color those parts of the sweater. So that is how we're going to fill in with the pixel fill tool. So again, we want to make sure it's on pixel fill. Now, if you don't know what a pixel is, a pixel is a dot of color in a computer. And we see that in our phone screens and our TV screens in anything. So these black lines are made up of pixels. They are creating a wall that is keeping the paint inside. So that's why we use the pixel fill. So we fill inside the pixels. And that is how we start coloring in our sweater. Lesson two in Sketchpad.